Oh my god. Oh my god. Dear god. It's a hundred thousand chickens. <laughs> oh, the biggest army of chickens and penguins you've ever seen. That the world has ever seen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. This is a game that's somewhat like a giant, huge, giant ch tabs. So, you know, imagine like a bazillion times more units. That's this game. Okay, um, so we're gonna go ahead and get things started. We're just gonna start off with a simple battle. Um, let's go ahead and go with some medieval guys. Let's go with way more than that. I mean, we need a minimum of a thousand because this game is huge. So we're gonna go with some medieval guys versus uh, animals and see how that goes. I don't know what that means exactly, but we're gonna go a thousand versus a thousand. And there's also this unit customization and we can change these sort of things up. So these are footmen, wildmen, catapult, archer, giant ogre. <laughs> that looks like fun. Okay, we got a giant ogre, heavy knight, penguin. Oh, that's gonna be a dangerous one. That's gonna be a fun one. Okay, but let's go ahead and start off this first battle and see exactly what happens here uh, so that you guys can see what this game is all about. So, sort of imagine um, a giant tabs, but also with a mix of formata because obviously it's more realistic and you can also control the units, but it is just straight battles, unlike, uh, unlike formata. Where are our guys at? Where are they? Oh, no? Okay, press K to start battle. Here goes. There's our, there's our medieval guys. Okay, so these are all of our medieval guys, and these must be our animals over here. <laughs> okay, what do we have? <laughs> it's chickens! Oh no, not the chickens! Okay, we've got, uh, a ten, we've got a thousand chickens. We've got the chickens already. I didn't even realize that this was the animal, but apparently it is. I should have looked more closely at the class, but we're gonna see what happens when you battle a thousand chickens versus a thousand knights here. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have a prediction already, but who knows, the chickens could be like really strong. No, look, they're just poofing into feather balls. <laughs> okay, well, uh, now we know what happens in the battle of a thousand chickens. It's, it's nothing. Nothing happens in the battle of a thousand chickens. Look, they're not even a little bit scared, they just poof. They just poof. That's all that happens. Okay, let's get some bigger battles going, because obviously, this isn't big enough to break stuff yet, which means it's just not big enough. Let's go bigger. Okay, so in the animals, we actually have the unit selection, so this is where- Oh, penguins! A bazillion ping- okay, um, this is a battle that we just have to try. I know it might be stupid, but we just have to try it, so we're gonna go- <laughs> Animals versus animals, chickens versus penguins, who wins? Who will win this uh, terrifying battle? We're gonna put it way more than a thousand. Now let's go ahead and go with. Should we go for a hundred thousand? Will that break things? Whoa! That's a lot of chickens. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if if I can handle this. I don't know if the computer is gonna die. It's quite possible that the computer will die. Um, but we're gonna go chickens versus penguins here. If we can select penguins, maybe. Can I select? There we go. Penguins. Let's go ahead and get a hundred thousand penguins. Look at all of those freaking penguins. Dear God, that's so many more penguins. Okay, maybe 50,000 penguins, because we don't want to get too crazy here. That looks more closely even, I guess. I, I feel like penguins are going to be a lot stronger. Let's see if we can take this now. Let's see if we can do this. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. I've never seen a chicken battle a penguin before, so... <laughs> This should be interesting, all right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dear god. It's a hundred thousand chickens. <laughs> oh, the biggest army of chickens and penguins you've ever seen. That the world has ever seen. Let's see if we can back out a little bit here and get just an idea of how many penguins there are here. <laughs> oh my god. Look, they go all the way back up onto the top of the mountain. That's how many penguins there are. Okay, let's get in closer, if we can. Dear God, oh, oh, chickens. Who will win this crazy battle? We're gonna have to like fast forward through this because this is just insane. Oh my God. There's too many chickens and too many penguins. Let's go to the other side, see if we can get like the full view of this entire battle because this is ridiculous. I didn't, oh, I might have spawned too many chickens. Dear God, look at all of the penguins! <laughs> it's, 
it goes on for as far as the eye can see. And then all the chickens do. Oh my god. Do you hear them? Look, oh, there goes the battle. It begins. It begins with feathers poofing and blood flying. The battle of a thousand, a hundred thousand chickens versus the penguins. Oh my god. I never thought that this would ever happen in my entire life. I never thought for a minute that I would ever see a hundred thousand chickens battle, you know, fifty thousand penguins. That's not something that I ever wanted or thought could exist. But yet, here it is. <laughs> okay, um, let's see if we can go ahead and actually speed things up. So we have a time scale here. Enable. We hit enable. And then we go ahead and go double time. Double time. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh dear god. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Dear god. <laughs> oh, dear. Jesus. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Look at all of... Oh. Oh, there's so many chickens. There's so many chickens. And so many penguins. <laughs> oh, God. Well, clearly we have created a battle of giant epic proportion right off the bat. <laughs> but I don't think this battle is ever going to end. If we come in closer, even though it's going at double speed, uh, it's slowing down like crazy. It's chugging because there's too many chickens and penguins. Um, but if we come in closer, you can see they take forever. Like, this is their hitting, and it just takes that long to kill the chickens. But the penguins, I think, will eventually win. It's just going to take years. For them to win um, but let's go ahead and see if we can get one oh flying through the chickens and the penguins oh my god there's too many <laughs> what have I done what have I done okay we're gonna go ahead and get out of this battle though we're gonna try out some more stuff and if you guys do have any suggestions of your own definitely leave them in the comments down below cuz this we're gonna have some fun with this we're gonna have some crazy fun with this okay let's go ahead and go back to the menu a hundred thousand chickens Dear God. Okay. <laughs> Let's try something different, though. Um, we definitely have ogres. So, fantasy, uh, we have orc and giant ogre. I want to try the giant ogre. We're going to go ahead and do, say, a thousand giant ogres. That seems good enough. Um, and then you can sort of see how they compare in size. Obviously, I think the penguins would still win this because, dear God, look at that. <laughs> but we're going to switch it from the penguins to, say, evil uh, zombie versus giant ogres. Let's go ahead and go with. Uh, definitely at least a thousand. I'd say ten thousand. Ten thousand zombies versus, let's say, uh, fifteen hundred giant ogres. Is that a fair battle? I think so. I think that sounds fair indeed. Maybe we should have it in the castle, though. Put them over here like this. Here we go. Now this is gonna be a fun battle. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. Here we go. We're going giant ogres versus zombies. I feel like this is going to be one of the best ones. You can see in this picture here, we have the zombies versus some ancient Roman warriors in an epic battle, a battle of epic proportions. But uh, I think we just... Dear. Jesus. Okay. Can you guys even move? Wait. Let's go. Let's go, zombies. You can do it. All right, so they're all inside of the castle. They're all over the castle. Look at that. Look at them go. Swinging away. Oh, they're huge. I didn't realize they were so big. They're absolutely giant. We've got so many zombies over here, but it's going to take them a while. I think the ogres are uh, just going to smash through everything. So, ew. this is a really cool battleground, though. I do really like this. But I don't think the zombies are going to stand a chance at all. So now we know, yeah, these guys are way bigger than I thought they were. They weren't kidding when they said giant. They're like, kill ten zombies in one swing, giant. <laughs> okay, well, now we know that. So let's go ahead and enable this. Set it to double speed. See how long, how quickly they can deal with it. Oh, that's a terrifying sound. Look at that. They're jumping. Look at them jump down. Oh, they're hurting themselves. There's a stack of dead zombies because they keep jumping. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't exactly the best place to put them. Um, and it also wasn't exactly fair to put the giant ogres against zombies in general. But I definitely put them in a pretty bad spot. Look, these guys are stuck. They're trying to sneak around the wall. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like when we possess them. So you can see I'm possessing this guy right now. Um, he's very slow moving. And I guess we're going down on top of the others. Okay. Did I die? I think I died. I died. Okay. Well, let's not possess that guy then. Let's go ahead and take, say, this guy. This should be a manageable drop, right? There we go. All right. So if we possess this guy, we can then 
take him wherever we want and do pretty much anything we want. And you can see our health is on the on bottom left there. Um, and then if we swing, how do we swing? How do I kill? Kill. Die. You perish. You evil dwarfs. How do I kill him? What do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know how to swing. I can't attack. Oh, one, two, three, no. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. We get no attacks. Rally, attack target. Two. Attack target. Yeah. Can I swing it? Oh, there we go. We can swing. We just have to target them. So we have to actually point at one in, a, in, a, in order to be able to swing, I guess. Um, or I think I swung. I don't know. I don't really have total control here. It's not really working so well for me. Okay. Um, but obviously, the giant ogres are demolishing the zombies. Now we know with that battle. <laughs> uh, what even happened back over here? What was this? What was this massive zombie death over here? Did they all just drop dead? I guess. Oh, you guys probably did that, didn't you? Why are you guys down here? Look at all these zombies, just stragglers on the cliff side. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and start another new one because we know the answer. We know the outcome to this battle, although it was very cool. I love the giant ogres. They're awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually look through our units a little bit and see what all we have. So we have the chicken, which is cool. We have the wild man. Ooh, he looks neat. Uh, catapult, which seems good. Archer, that seems interesting. Footman, well, boring. Boring. Giant Ogre is the coolest one. Heavy Knight? Yeah, he seems kind of cool. He seems big and strong. We have Orcs. They're ugly. <laughs> we have Penguins, Spartans, Romans, uh, and U.S. Soldier. Yeah, that's a World War II soldier, I think it is. And a zombie. A zombie. So we could go zombies versus soldiers, or zombies versus Romans, or zombies... Zombies are just fun. <laughs> oh, these guys look fun. All right, we're definitely doing Spartans. I say Spartans versus giant ogres, but we're going to have to make it a little bit more fair. Or Spartans versus orc could be good. Let's go ahead and try out Spartans versus orc. I feel like those are going to be pretty evenly matched. Um, and we're going to put them in a more of a fair battleground. So I say on top of this, because this looks cool. So let's go ahead and change you to Spartans. Uh, heavy knight? No. Would that... Uh, whoops. Heroes. Heroes? Golden Knight? None. None and none. That's not what I want. Why won't you work? Why won't you let me click on you? Ancient Greece? Nothing wants to work. How about this one? There we go. Spartan. That's what I wanted. Uh, so we're just gonna make this one none because it doesn't want to work. And then we'll go with, uh, we want fantasy for this one. Orc. There we go. So let's go ahead and make it... A thousand is not enough. Ten thousand is the number to beat. Okay, we'll try and make it fit in there, and then another 10,000. We don't do small numbers here, just so you guys know, small numbers are not an option. It's big or nothing, so 10,000 is our number. <laughs> 10,000 is the minimum on both sides. So we're doing Spartans versus Orcs here. I honestly couldn't tell you which one's going to win. I would probably bet on the Orc. I know, I'm doubting the Spartans here, but I, I feel like the Orcs are just going to be, oh dear god, look at that. Look, it's just a sea of Spartans. Look at them go. Oh, that's cool. That's cool looking. Okay. And then over on the other hill, we have the orcs. Oh, they're going to clash. This is definitely the most epic battleground we could have chosen. Here we go. We'll see them crash running at their crappy frames. There we go. Yeah. Now this is a battle. This is definitely going to be the best battle, I feel like. Okay. Who will win? No. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like the Spartans have a slight lead a slight edge on them I suppose but I feel like this is still gonna be a really even battle is anyone like s going off the edge no everyone's on is anything going on over here anyone dripping off the edge we don't want to lose anybody on accident we want to lose everyone to battle and not to the cliff side okay looking looking from this angle I would say the Spartans are winning but it is very difficult to tell. Let's go ahead and just come in closer and see if we can <laughs> judge the dead bodies. It definitely looks like Spartans are taking it. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. Let's see if we can speed it up. Let's go ahead and hit enable, speed it up, and then let's try cinematic camera mode. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. I think it just like added some lighting effects to it. Did it? Everything seems shinier. <laughs> I don't know if that actually changed anything though. Okay. Well, there we go. There's the double speed. So, oh, this this is an epic battle. I'm glad this is the battle. This is the one. Look at these guys. 
Listen to their voices. Listen to the Spartan call. <laughs> ah, that's great. Listen to that Spartan call. That is absolutely wonderful. Look at him go. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so I think... Yeah, my money is definitely on the Spartans at this point. You can see they just have more numbers left over. So they're definitely crushing the orcs. And you can see their dead bodies in here. Oh, look at all those Spartans and all the orcs. Oh, there's many deaths have come in this battle. Let's go ahead and actually take over one of these guys. Um, wait, I think I have to switch off of cinematic mode to take him over. There we go. So we've got this guy here. So we're running at double speed, too. I think everything stays at double speed. Wait. Now you guys sound normal. Maybe we're not going at double speed. We're going to try and sneak around, though. We're going to go around the edge over here and see if we can make a difference. Can we make a difference in this battle? Oh, no. I'm, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> I died really quickly. So that actually took a lot fewer hits than I uh, assumed that it would. Okay, so... Well, there we go. <laughs> now we know. Let's see if we can re-enable that. Enable. There we go. Speed it back up. There we go. All right, so let's see who will win this battle. I, yeah, it's definitely going to be the Spartans. The Spartans are going to take this. Look at that. It's just not even fair. It's not even fair. What are you guys doing? Where are you guys going? You're clearly not getting anywhere. Maybe you will. Maybe you can do it. No, you're going down. Where are you guys going? I don't, I'm not entirely sure where they're trying to get to, but they apparently pulled it off. Now that we know the victor will obviously be the Spartans, we're going to go ahead and actually just have ourselves a look at the customization real fast before we do anything else. So we can actually customize their health, damage, attack speed, move speed, we can save the unit as a new unit, and I think that's it. So we can't actually customize any of their visuals, we can just customize their stats, which is pretty interesting. Um, so we're going to look through this real fast. I think that the giant ogre does have the best stats. Look, the chicken has 20 health and does 10 damage. What does the penguin do? Penguin does... Uh, 60 health and 12 damage. So the penguin's obviously significantly better than the chicken. So that's why the penguin was gonna win. Uh, <laughs> um, but as for as far as how much damage everything goes, it looks like the ogre oh, 300 damage there. Doo -doo -doo. Footman 33, ogre 200. So it looks like the catapult actually does the most, unless the U.S. soldier does 25. It's a gun. <laughs> what? The zombie does more in one hit than the soldier. Uh, oh, what? What? What is this? Okay, I guess the soldier does so little, but it's ranged, so it does more. Um, but now we know. Okay, so first damage goes to the catapult, the second most damage goes to the giant ogre, and the third, I believe, goes to the Spartan. Um, I'm pretty sure. Unless the orc does more. Does the orc? No, the orc only does 72, so it definitely goes to the Spartan, and that's why the Spartan was going to win. Even though he has way less health, he does significantly more damage, so he was going to win that battle. Alright, um, but that has been the first episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, so if you guys do have any battle suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. We're going for epic, giant battles of awesome proportion, especially if they involve penguins or chickens because <laughs> we can modify their stats and make them much stronger than they actually are and i think that that is going to be a lot of fun so definitely leave some comments with your battle suggestions down in the comments down below i'll ch i'll pick out my favorites and we'll check them out for the next episode but we're gonna go ahead and leave things there i hope you guys have enjoyed ultimate epic battle simulator that's gonna be it for today everybody